what is the secret sauce the unsaid rule the fastest way to crack any competitive entrance examination hi this is ashish gaurav i did my btech from iit kharagpur and did my masters in quantitative economics from isi kolkata and i have given a lot of entrance examinations to talk on this topic to crack any entrance examination you really do not need to know any mantra or any secret the only thing which you need to remember is that you need to find the rules of the game and play it as well as you can now what is the meaning of the rules of the game whenever you play any new game you are unaware about its rules and till the time you do not understand the rules of the game you will never understand how to master that game you will not get better at that game and you will obviously win a very few matches so if you have to be good at it you need to know the complete rules of the game and the rule of any entrance examination is try to find out the syllabus of the entrance examination try to find out what it takes to master that syllabus of the entrance examination and try to understand how to score well in that entrance examination if you know these three things you have practically understood the whole gamut of the rules of this entrance examination which you are trying to get in now how do you get better at it once you understand the rules you have to play according to the rules to get better at this game the key thing over here is a third point which is how to answer the questions asked in the entrance examination in the best way possible with high accuracy and high speed now to get that level you need to understand what are really going to be your strengths and weaknesses in this entrance examination because even a sachin tendulkar or for that matter even glen megra would definitely would decide that what is their strength and what is their weakness and then play the game if i ask sachin tendulkar to keep behind the wickets he will definitely not be the best keeper and if i ask glen megra to open the batting and face alan donald or even wakar yunus or maybe even for that matter sean pollock he will fail miserably at it so you need to understand the strengths and weaknesses of your entrance examination let's say you are preparing for the je exam then your task is pretty easy because a lot of people in the past have given the exam and they know what are the fixed set of rules and there are a lot of people who are very similar to you so you can resonate with them but if you are preparing for an exam like let's say msqe of isi or let's say a, a very obscure exam in your social circle the fact is you interact with the people around you and then form your opinions so if you are in a social circle in which a very limited number of people have given gre or gmat for you getting access to information about gre gmat and trying to understand how to play that game would be difficult but with the availability of internet and i'm assuming that if you're watching this video you have access to internet you practically have access to the whole community of people preparing for any exam which you're aiming to get into so definitely there is no exam for which you will have difficulty in trying to get like minded people but still if you are someone who wants to understand the rules of the game and you're not getting like minded people so definitely look in the previous question papers and then try to find out the syllabus and then try to find out what you need to read to understand your strengths and weaknesses so the third step combining with the first two steps will probably take you around 2 to 3 weeks and let's take roughly around 1 month so in one month you will understand what is 70 to 80% of the rules of the game and then 
it will be your real beginning of the preparation. Now, once you understand your strengths and weaknesses of any entrance examination preparation, you need to focus on your strengths and make it so potent that any question which is in your strength does not go away from your reach and you are able to solve every question in your strength. And for your weaknesses, always try to understand the basic concepts in the weaknesses in your weak areas and then do not let the easy peasy questions get away from your side if you find a question from your weakness area which is easy. Now, if I have to tell you that this is a secret sauce, you might not believe but this definitely is the secret sauce behind cracking any entrance examination.